Hi guys, how are you today? I'm still in Singapore and today is my last day here. So I've decided to spend it discovering this magical place. It is called Gardens by the Bay and so far it looks spectacular. Come, let's go have a look. Oh, there you are guys. I'm trying to find words to describe this place and I have to say it's a little bit difficult because it feels like this is a botanical garden of a whole new generation and it feels like there's flora and fauna at its best combined with art and technology. It is really, I think, the beautiful park of the future. I've never seen anything like that anywhere else in the world. Around the whole territory, there are a lot of statues, but this one particular is very interesting. Look, it looks like a floating baby. I think that's really cool. And also, I think this has a deeper meaning that we should try to preserve our planet for the next generations. I think it's beautiful. And it's also a huge, cool, giant baby just hanging in the air, like. Oh, wow. I guess this is one of these famous domes that is in here. Should we go check it out? That could be interesting. Well, this is grand. Wow. Oh my God, and what a breath of fresh air. You can immediately feel it when you come in. This is such an interesting combination of it being so like, it feels like a huge spaceship full of like trees and flowers. That's what it feels like to me because it's something so extraordinary. Oh, what a beautiful flower. I want to smell it. Mm. It's almost the size of my head. It's so big and beautiful. called Cloud Forest. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God! This is so cool! You just want to come up and be like, <laughs> should I go closer? Yeah, I should. Well, this is refreshing. <laughs> okay, this indoor waterfall is pretty spectacular and you can even walk around it and see the view from, you know, different levels. But, there is another place where I want to walk. Come, I'll show you. This is where we're going. This feels like I'm walking into an Avatar movie. Guys, do you see this? This is the Skywalk. This is where we're gonna go now. Oh my God, guys. I gotta say, at first I was a little bit scared because I can see this massive tree and that massive tree. And I mean, there's nothing underneath supporting this bridge. But now I'm getting ahead of it. If there is a skywalk one must visit in a lifetime, this is it, guys. Look, isn't this spectacular? These are not just awesome avatar looking trees. These are actually solar panels. Singapore has built all of this, keeping in mind the need to protect our nature. I'm speechless. This is so beautiful, amazing. This place is full of surprises. Look what I found. This is actually one of the symbols of Singapore. It's the lion dragon. And this is like a mini garden with all sorts of different animals. There's an ant, some other animal. It's really cool. Ah. Oh, wow, look, guys, there's a piano. I love these when you can sit in a public space and just indulge in music. I think that's such a good way to bring culture to the people. Let's see if I remember something from my music school years. It's been a while. I don't remember the rest of it. Ah! Seven years 
of musical education. <laughs> Guys, I'm back at the super trees and apparently at night they turn into this magical light show. Everyone is here right now to watch it happen. It's gonna start soon. I'm very, very excited. The show is starting. Oh my God. How cool is that? This is like a super tree disco. Get your groove on! These gardens by the bay have blown me away. It is such an architectural and natural marvel. And one thing that I will definitely remember it's how nice and easy it felt to breathe here. I gotta say, we need to plant much more trees and flowers in every city, just like Singapore did. Speaking of, what do you prefer, flowers or trees? Comment below and the winner is gonna get this beautiful notebook that I bought for you. Thank you so much for watching, bye.